everyone! If you are new here, my name is Katie and I own a sticker company called DEK Designs. And today I'm going to be planning in my Hobonichi Cousin Planner for the weekly overview and the dailies using our sticker kits that we make. So for the weekly overview, I'm going to be using our Midnight's kit, our Midnight's Hobonichi overview kit. And I'm super excited to use this because I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan. I have been like since the beginning and I'm obsessed with her new album and all the drama. I've been keeping up with all of that and I just I just love how positive she is and how she's so resilient. Anyways, I'm going to be channeling that energy this week and I'm going to use this for my weekly overview. And then for my dailies, I'm going to be using the kit called Swan. It's super pretty. I love the soft colors on here and it's like a picnic date basically so let's get started so this week is gonna be pretty hectic for me i am it's going to be is it may yeah it's may so it's the first week of may my birthday month which is super exciting i'm gonna be 28 but I have like a lot of appointments this week and responsibilities and my daily for this week is already clumped with all the stuff I have to do. I'm not looking forward to it. I'm in love with this washi with the, the silver sparkle foil on it for the stars. Love it. So yeah, it's going to be a crazy week, but I'm so thankful that I have my planner because if I didn't have that, I'd be like a chicken running around with his head cut off basically this week. So for me, it's been super important to like have my planner be like a place that I want to go to every day. So it's like important for me to decorate it because if not, I'm not going to look at it and I'm gonna forget all that I need to do. My favorite Taylor Swift song, oh my gosh. I don't think I can, I don't think I have a favorite just because they're all so good. She's so talented, it's insane. I did go to uh, one of her concerts I think it was the, I'm trying to think which, which one it was, the Speak Now tour. And that was an experience for sure that I will never forget. This is probably my favorite, Oop. my favorite box out of the kit. For midnights. I love florals. Love it. So for those of you that have a Hobonichi cousin, do you match your your weekly kits with your dailies or do you kind of mix them up? Because today I'm not matching them and I haven't really ever matched them just because I like it to be really different, you know. I can see the appeal though to to match them up. And again, this is going to be my tracker basically for my exercises slash just physical movement. So I'm just going to title it movement. Then I'm gonna bracket the full boxes with these glitter headers. I just love how it looks. It makes it look more like crisp for whatever reason. And it kind of helps segment things off for me.
And I think this is a fitting way to start off my birthday month too with a Taylor Swift kit. Am I in the wrong week? I am. Okay, it's okay. We're just gonna pretend like this didn't happen. <laughs> and I'm, being, I'm trying to be a little bit different for this week too with how I'm setting this up. Just because I like to experiment and see like what like works best for me and what I think looks the best too, which is completely subjective, you know. And then I'm going to put my boxes at the top and it's going to have the important things that I need to do. Ooh, let's do these little scalloped circles up here. Just to add some texture. To jazz it up a little bit. Okay. And then I love these little swatches. They make me so happy. I don't know why. I just think they're super cute. And they help cover up any mistakes I make. So it's all good. And then these two, these little swatches as well like i used one over there to cover and it says actually april over there and i'm just gonna in my head be like yep it's may <laughs> let's see i kind of like to border my to like use this to layer over my boxes too like in the corner pieces i like that a lot and i think i'm gonna like put like a positive something positive is gonna be written up here just to look at, you know. What am I gonna write? What's gonna be my positive, like, mantra? 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 You've totally got this. I don't know if that's grammatically correct. I don't think so. You totally got this. I don't think it's correct grammatically correct it's all good okay and i'm gonna need to see that for this week because this week is gonna be crazy swan we're gonna decorate this with swan let's roll up the sleeves tomorrow is gonna be the most stressful so i'm gonna put this nice little relaxing boat scene up over here so i'm just gonna look at it and i'm gonna feel calm and everything's gonna be okay <laughs> i'm gonna make it through it and, and there's no like method that i really have for like where i'm putting these stickers at it's just whatever feels good to me I try to make it different so it's not like the same placements. Let's do this nice little painting scene. Well, let's do this food. Let's do the food scene. Because Friday is going to also be stressful for me. And food makes me happy. So I'm going to look at this baguette. And I will feel better. <laughs> Saturdays are usually chill for me. I actually tried watercoloring this weekend. <laughs> I think I was inspired from last week's kit because there is also a watercolor scene on it. So, so I tried watercoloring blueberries because I like fruit stuff when the weather is really nice. I just like looking at it and it was a trip it was not as easy as my brain was telling me it was gonna be which is usually the case for most things in life so so i painted like four blueberries and i was just like mm, i don't like this and I was like thinking in my head that I wanted to like just erase like I do on Procreate, but you can't do that with real life, like physical painting. So 
I was just thinking, oh, it would be so much easier if I was on Procreate. I can definitely see the appeal for actually like doing it with the materials and stuff, how that could be cathartic for people. But for me, I'm like an anxious mess the whole time thinking, I don't want to mess this up. <laughs> Which kind of takes the fun out of it for me. So I'm just going to stick with Procreate. If you don't know what Procreate is, it's like a, an app that on your iPad that you can draw on. I do a lot of Boo Bear stuff on there for when I draw Boo Bear. I love Hobonichi's, but what I don't love is all the text that the, that's at the bottom. I try my best to cover it with washi tape and stuff like that. But let's kind of let's overlap it like that. And then we can do a strip. Okay, so I got my washi done. Is that the same exact thing? No, it's not. Okay. Got the washi done, I think, Sunday. Okay. I like these oval circles the best out of the functional stickers. I don't know why. I just like the shape a lot. And I always make sure to have these on each day. You know what, maybe what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these boxes for this week to have three things for me to do to help have like me time, you know, during this week since it's gonna be so crazy. So it'll help me come up, I will go through and come up with some ideas. And I'll have that as kind of my go-to at the end of the day or during the day if I have time. Kind of flip through what's gonna what it looks like before I, you know, have it all filled in. Pretty. Now I'm gonna go through my week and go to each of my three bow check box boxes and I'm going to write three things in it that I can do to help de-stress for the day. So like today, I'm gonna walk trail. Whoops. I'm gonna go walk on the trail after work and then maybe I'm gonna read for sure my audiobook that I'm listening to. And then lastly, I have some slime that I'm probably gonna play with. I'm such a child. No, I love slime just because it's so fun to, it's like sensory, you know, and it helps me like weed out my stress basically. So that's what I can do tonight. Tomorrow is one of my crazy days. So I'm gonna listen to my positivity, like, my happy playlist that I have on Spotify. That kind of boosts me up. So I'll listen to that in the morning. And then I'm going to try making avocado toast for lunch. Which is gonna be fun. And then for sure read. I think read's gonna be like on all of these. Wednesday, Wednesday, pretty chill, but still like a lot. Like I could play my video game at night, so I'm gonna have that last. I play Switch sometimes. And then slime, for sure. Some type of movement. Okay, and then May is my birthday month, and so I'm gonna decorate 
this like overview page I guess for my birthday. I have these washi that are from the May subscription box that I'm going to use because I really like the colors and the foil on it. And then I also made a couple of die cuts that I'm going to stick on here to layer over it. So I'm going to try to like layer these first on the page and then layer the stickers over it and we'll see how that goes. Uh, you just kind of play around with your planner and don't get too caught up on making it look perfect. Like I'm not sure if this is going to look good, but I'm trying it anyways. <laughs> just because I wanna have fun with it and try new things with it. Now let's see, where am I gonna put this? Cause this is very large. So since the stickers are over the washi tape, it's not going to stick that well, but I like the way it looks, so I'm just going to leave it like it is, and it'll stick well enough to stay on. So now I'm going back in my daily plans, and I'm doing some doodling just to add some more stuff, you know, in with the blank spaces to like make it more of my own thing. So I'm going off of the weekly kit that I use, the swan kit, and I'm going to try to I'm going to try to draw a swan chilling in some water. So I'm just lightly tracing with my pen uh an outline of a swan and then I'm going to kind of go from there. And now I'm going to go over the light trace of the swan with a darker marker so it's more prominent. I did not expect this marker to be so wet on the paper, but it took quite a while for it to dry just with how, I don't know what the term is, just how wet it is compared to other markers that dry quicker, like the Tombow markers. Then I moved over to Friday and I'm doing another doodle. It's going to be like more of like the pond scene, but like a closer up look.
And lastly, I'm doing like a framing doodle on the Sunday and it kind of like frames, you know, the page. I have it in the corner. I'm not sure what this type of plant is called, but they are like around ponds, you know, with like the brown thing at the end. If you know what it is, you should totally comment what it is below. And this is my final spread for the first week of May, including my doodles and all of the stuff that I did this week. Oh, and that audio book I listened to. I love the little boo with the headphones on. And I layered that over there. I just love layering glitter and a cute little frog. I love it. I'm in love with this week. It's crazy how anxious I was at the beginning of planning of this week, but now like that I've made this week my own and I'm happy with it. You know, I look back at it and I'm, I enjoyed it. Make sure to comment below if you have a favorite doodle maybe. That would be fun. And these are the pens that I use to color in all those doodles. Thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to like this video if you got inspired at all, possibly. Comment below maybe your own ideas. Make sure to subscribe to us if you want to continue getting inspired for your own planner ideas. Thank you so, so much for stopping by. I hope you have had an amazing first week of May, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.